artist, Miss G, here for today's lesson. Today we're going to learn how to use watercolor in a very fun and interesting way to make our spring flowers. And before you get started, remember, don't rush it and really take your time. Because if you rush it, it may not come out as well as you'd hope it'd be, okay? So let's get started. You're going to need a mat so you don't get anything dirty, a cup of water, a sheet of paper, different size brushes, watercolors, and I like to keep a rag on the side just in case I get paint anywhere. Be sure to put your name and date on the back so you remember when exactly you did this piece of artwork. So for this, I made sure I got my brush really, really wet and I woke up each and every color. Now remember, your watercolors are dry. So in order to wake them up, you need to add water to them. And be sure not to mix each color on the tray. Always rinse in between colors. So then I started to make my first flower. I made sure my brush had a lot of water and almost made like a puddle of the color. And I made sure there was enough to drip some of the color down. So I gently tapped my paper on my table and made some of that color drip down to form the stem. Now stems aren't red, they're green and kind of yellowish. So I went ahead and added some green as my paper is lifted. So you continue doing that with each one of your flowers. Make sure you add a lot of water, lift your paper up, gently tap it on the table so it drips down. And as it's dripping down, wet your brush with a lot of water and grab some of that green and even yellow if you want and add it only just to your stem. Don't add any of that green to your flower. You only want to keep it on the stem part of the flower. And you do that to each one and make as many as you like. I decided to do each color of the rainbow. Now, after waiting a couple of minutes for your flowers to dry, you can gently touch them to make sure. You're gonna grab one of your teeny, tiniest, smallest brushes that you have, and you're gonna start to make your leaves. Now, the leaves are gonna be greens and yellows, and what I did is I just gently stamped the leaves using just the tippy toes of my brush, and I did it on both sides. You can even add more details like grass or even a sky. Have fun, artists. 